Hello everybody and welcome back to Super Mario World. It's good to be back. Not gonna have much time for shit today. I have a really busy day so I'm not gonna be doing much. There's not gonna be very many videos up and there's probably only gonna be really one video, maybe two, if I can squeeze it in of this. Oh shit, don't, 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 don't. Thank you. Son of a bitch, I forgot about those guys. Well, all that time I spent going to the fucking secret place just to get a power-up is completely ruined now. Thank you, game, for wasting all of my goddamn time. I don't know why I got sent back to Baby Mario. I had gotten the two mushrooms, but whatever. Whatever you say, game, whatever floats your fucking boat to piss me off. Uh, yeah, not gonna have much time to do stuff today. Going up to the tattoo, going up to the tattoo parlor today. Gonna be working on some of the computers, the security stuff, and helping around out there. So that's gonna be fun as fuck. I guarantee it. I just hope I don't get any more crazy fucks that come there aren't there today. I swear. Sometimes there's the weirdest people you can meet in a tattoo parlor. Fuck! I slid forward. Okay, let's just go back. <sighs> we'll just go back. I don't care. We'll fast forward this. I don't think you want to sit here watching me walk for 15, you know, 15 years to get here. Just to get one power up. Let's see, I did this the last time just to get these. So that when I got hit while I was in f the feather form, I'd go back to the, you know, big Mario instead of little Mario, but I don't know why it didn't. Then again, I don't know all the rules. I still don't remember all the rules for how shit works in this kind of game. Or not this kind of game, but this game specifically. So I could be missing something very important. But yeah, I'm going to be helping out some of the people with the tattoo place. It should be fun. It should be amusing, all things considered. But still. I just hope... I just hope the crazies aren't there today. There's just certain people. There's certain people you meet in life that they're not bad people they're just strange to the point that you don't want to have to deal with them and trust me when I say this some of those people that are there are those people and then that one <sighs> one woman's husband that comes in often her like I said her husband that comes in just stares at people he doesn't say anything and the woman's really nice and he's very open and she talks often, and she's just not a bad person. She's not one of the creepy people, not by a long shot. But her husband just stares at people. Like, not even like haha -ha stares, like kind of creepy, I'm watching you pee stares. Oh god, no. There we go. This one better. This has already gone better than last time, hell yeah. Hell, this has gone a lot better than last time. Sup, guy? What's he up to? just kind of spawn camp you so goodbye bye he just it's like he and he's got this like weird it's not like a smile it's kind of like just the the edge of his mouth like the edge of his lips are just kind of upturned so he's kind of got this like it's a very strange smirk when he's staring at everybody and it's just i don't like him he fucking creeps me the hell out don't do it mario don't do it don't and he's there goes my power Mario found his way through the forest of illusion and has put an end to Roy Koopa of Castle 5. Onward to the dangerous but tasty chocolate island. Blah. But yeah, he gives me the creep something fierce. But hey. I mean, not, not everybody can be perfect, right? I'm just gonna save there just in case. I don't feel like it crashing again. Oh, man. Like, like I said, it, I don't know if you know anybody like that, but Jesus Christ, they are the creepiest fucks on the planet. Especially when you can't really say anything about them. Because it's like, everybody thinks... It, it seems like everybody kind of has come to terms with him being like that. And it's just, it's normal. But to me, it's just creepy as hell. I don't know. I don't know, that's just me. I can believe he missed this Yoshi going. So I'm going to be doing that probably for the better part of the day. But tonight I will probably be getting onto a recording of something that I've been looking forward to doing. 
something that, as I know, a few people have, you know, noticed that I have. I've had Counter-Strike Go for about three, four months. Not really played it at all, but I've had it, and people have been wondering why I haven't done any videos on it, and so I decided, why the hell not? I realized there wasn't really a non-disclosure agreement that I thought there was. Hell yeah! Saved at the last second. <laughs> Holy shit. Um... <sighs> God damn it, where the fuck was I? There's not a non-disclosure agreement. I thought there might have been, so I wasn't making any videos on it. But then I realized, no, there's not. What the fuck am I talking about? So, we're probably... Uh, me and Jason are probably going to make videos on that tonight. Don't expect any two thing, anything too fabulous. I'm not a good FPS player, and he's Jason. He's bad at everything, so... All the jokes he makes about me being bad are really about himself. To make himself feel better. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, poke, poke, vomit, vomit, and all that fun, fuck, jazz. So, Mass Effect 3. In... I found something out. I found out why, um, Ashley looks like Michael Jackson. She's a transsexual now. Let that sink in. Let that sink in that, uh... Ashley Williams of Mass Effect, of Mass Effect fame, is a transsexual. And I completely fucked that up, because I wasn't paying a damn bit of attention. I, I don't... It makes sense when I look at her, but it doesn't make sense of why they did it. And I know this isn't no rumor, he said, he said, she said bullshit. No, this is actually good lord. Just fucking hit this. Oh god, no. Well, we'll do this again. No, it's not some he said, she said bullshit. I accidentally hit that. That's my bad. This is actually from a developer on the Bioware forums pretty much confirming... Yes, she is. I don't get it. Why? Why? Why would you do this, Bioware? There was no reason to make her a transsexual. There's no reason to do half the shit you guys have seemed to have done so far. Particularly some of the facial models. I swear to God, I didn't even recognize Bailey. He looks like 20 years younger, and I don't know what the fuck is up with his chin. But. We. Okay, we shouldn't have it this time. Blah, 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 blah. Fast forward a little bit, because we've already done this. Okay. Oh, God, I'm missing everything. Oh, God, failure! 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 Oh, do good. Come on, hit it, Mario. Hit it! Yeah! There we go. Ah, there we go. Well, never mind. I sent it better than last time, didn't it? I don't get why they had to make Ashley Williams a transsexual. Okay, I understand that it really seems like they're trying to appeal to the homosexual crowd. Especially with shit like the, the steroid abusing fuck. But... I don't know, it just doesn't fit. And I can't imagine how the people that were in a, you know, a considered to be straight relationship with Ashley before, now finding out she's a transsexual. Like, how do you think that has to feel? That's like finding out the wife that you've loved for so many years is... Okay, it's not the same thing, but you know what I mean. Ah, oh, that didn't work. Oh, dear God, no. Why did he start flying backwards? Okay, good. No, he made it through that. No harm, no foul. Ugh, fucking things to keep moving. Oh, well. But, I mean, I just don't get why they do it. It doesn't make sense. M to me. To me. Now, I admit I'm a stupid fuck sometimes. I understand that. But, at the same time, I realize that that's a big change, especially in character. And I gotta, you gotta also imagine that it's a, this is an RPG. This is a, a well-established, it's a, in the fucking third goddamn game of a trilogy. And now all of a sudden they're making a character that is very known, very, very known actually into something she's completely not, and I totally fucked this up. Hold on. I'm probably gonna die. Hold on, let me just save this real quick, just just in case. Wink, wink. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Run! Jump! 
Okay, come on. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on. You guys can do it. I know you can. I got faith in you. Eee, I hate those guys. But I mean, I just don't... Maybe I don't understand. Maybe I don't understand right. Maybe I don't. I just don't see why they'd have to do it. Making, like I said, making a well-established character suddenly have a penis. How do you think you feel? How do you think the male shepherds feel? The people who were playing males were like, okay, let's see how the story with Ashley plays out. Oh no, she has a penis. What? What? That doesn't make any sense at all. And it, it hell of a, it hell doesn't. God damn, it doesn't make a good story. Not at all. I don't care what anyone says. Have something having character turn into a transsexual for no good, no reason, no seeming reason, does not a good story make. Well, unless you're Bioware, apparently, or Hamburger Helper, Helper. <sighs> Just, I love the Mass Effect games, but some of the shit I'm reading. And it's not even like rumored bullshit, it's like actual from the developers on the forums or the Twitters or the writers just makes me really not want to finish playing the game. I'm going to, of course I'm going to. I love the game. And the game really hasn't done anything to me, but oh my god. Just the some of the shit and the bullshit that seems to be going out of it. It's not putting me in good spirits for. I'm not. I'm not spoiling it for myself. I'm really not. I'm. I was just kind of looking at the Ashley romance because I'm not fucking romancing her. In the first game, she's boring. The second game, she was gone, and now she's a transsexual. So, good fucking god, game. Stop it. Stop lagging. Stop it. Just eat him. Thank you. Save him from a dastardly death. Oh, we're at the end. Never mind. I don't know. And I wasn't looking really even too much in depth at it. I'm just like skimming over shit and it's like... Oh, Bioware's ri Bioware writer's talking about something. Oh, let's go. Let's go see what this is. It can't be too big of a sport. Transsexual. Really. That and the gay relationships that... If you know anything about what... Some of the shit that's been going on... Um with the game and some of the controversy over it, you know, you already know about gay relationships and how they're pretty unnecessary. How they're, and how they're being pretty unnecessarily forced into the game and wedged into it at that. Like this Vega, no, 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 not Vega, his name is not Vega, um, James, the steroid abusing fuck. Apparently, Shepard's known him for a long time. And they're butt buddies. And for a minute I thought I was going to die. And it's very easy, even if you don't want to, to get into a very bad relationship with him. To the point where it, in many cases, it seems almost forced into it. Which is what a lot of people are having problems with because they don't like that. They're not gay. I'm having trouble with this. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Hold on. It's fucking... Get the hell out of that one. That one was just like trapping me in itself. God damn it. Now I don't have now, don't take this the wrong way. I have no no problems with homosexuals or gay people in general. But I don't like it being forced into games. I didn't mind Zevran in Dragon Age. Dragon Age. He was fun. Now Dragon Age 2 I had a bit of a problem with. But everybody has a problem with Dragon Age 2. If you like Dragon Age and you like Dragon Age 2, something's seriously wrong with you because they're... It, it, they really fucked up a lot in the game. Like, there's just no two ways about it. And what the fuck did I miss? God damn it. Ah! Bloop, bloop. Okay, let's try this again. Let's not fail this time. Hi, Vey. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Totally missed it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm being a dumbass. It just... It seems forced. Especially Anders was one of the worst characters in gaming I've ever had the displeasure of dealing with. Just hands down. And I don't say that often. Trust me. I've played some 
bad games. I played the Kane and Lynch 2. I played Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days. I'm just gonna say that. I played that. And Andrews is worse than all of it. Trust me, that was a bad game. That was some bad games in bad times. So, I don't know. Andrews is worse than that. I can't believe the bullshit. I probably need to pay a little bit more attention to the game because I'm b busy talking, but... Uh, who cares, right? Right. Because it really doesn't matter. Let's just get through this bull crap. What happens if I load? If I load, it goes back pretty fucking far, so... I gotta leave anyway, and it's already saved. I'm just not gonna even worry about it. I have to go for today, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope everybody enjoyed this video. It might be a little long. Not really too worried on getting at the right time, so I'll see you guys tomorrow.